Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate another Power Automate action you can use to investigate your XML files and strings. This time, we're going to check for XML external entity threats, or XXE threats as they're commonly known, using the CloudMersive Security Connector. Let's dive right in. I'm starting from the flow diagram page here with an instant cloud flow setup so I can have full control over my data. The first thing I'm going to do is grab my demo file, so I'm setting up a get file content action via the SharePoint connector. Once I include my file and see the ID pop up here, I'm moving on to the next step. To incorporate our security action, let's create a new step and type CloudMersive into the search bar. Let's then select the security connector with the black CloudMersive logo from the list of options below. If it's your first time using this connector, you'll have to provide an API key and name your connection before reaching the actions list. You can get an API key for free by registering a free account on our website, which will provide you with a limit of 800 API calls per month with no additional commitments. Once we reach the actions list, let's type XXE into the search bar and select the action that says protect text input from XML external entity attacks. This action only has one input, so it's really easy to configure. We can either include dynamic content from our file, like I am, or we can parse a free-floating XML string in here from some external input, like an HTTP request. Once our content is in the text input, we can save and test our flow. I'm quickly saving what I've done so far and clicking the test button in the upper right corner. After confirming my details and running the flow, I'm opening up the connector response body and reviewing the results. As you can see, the response here is straightforward. We just need to know if our XML string contains a threat, and this connector has identified that it does not contain one. If the underlying service is unable to carry out its analysis of the content, it will let you know that the operation was not successful by providing you with a false response in the initial Boolean. You can easily use both of these booleans to stop your flow and quarantine XML files if you aren't 100% sure they're clean. It's ideal to use this connector after an initial XML file validation action so you can be certain your XML content is clean before it reaches the next destination. With our demo complete, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions about this or any of our products, please feel free to contact a member of our support or sales teams I'll include a link in the description below.